video is one of the many tools in the Wavelength Tech Support Toolbox to help you quickly configure the QCL Laboratory Series instrument. To get started, select the appropriate fuse for your country, insert both fuses into the red plastic carrier, choose the correct voltage orientation, and press firmly into the rear panel. Plug in the power cable and toggle the main power switch to on. When the instrument is on, the front power button slowly pulses. Press the front power button to enable the touch screen. The control screen is always shown at power on. The actual current flowing to the QCL is shown in green in the upper left corner of each screen. Green and white text are not editable. Before operating the instrument with a QCL, we recommend familiarizing yourself with the instrument and its operation by using a resistive test load. Wavelength offers test loads designed for specific currents. For the unit to operate, pins 1 and 2 on the QCL D sub passive interlock must be shorted, and a BNC terminator must be installed on the active interlock. A 50 or 75 ohm shorting terminator will work fine. Both of these items are supplied with the instrument. In order for current to flow, the key switch must be in the unlocked position. Then, simply thread the wavelength test load cable onto the SMA connector. Next, we need to set the current limit. To navigate between screens, use the icons along the bottom and side. On the limit screen, press the blue text under current limit. It'll turn yellow. Turn the adjustment knob to set it to a value below the QCL damage threshold. In this case, we'll use 3 quarters of an amp. When the value is accepted, the text turns blue again and the instrument beeps. There is a two and a half second delay between the last knob turn and when the change is accepted. On the control screen, change the set point value. The QCL instrument always operates in constant current mode. Here, we'll choose 0.6 amps. To enable the output current, after the values are set, firmly press the enable button. There is a factory default two second delay before the button illuminates and the instrument slow starts current to the test load. The maximum current sent to the QCL will never exceed the maximum value set. The current limit begins to limit about 10% below the set limit. Once limit is approached, the limit icon shows a red outline, as seen when we raise the set point to 0.7 amps. We recommend that you do not operate in current limit because the noise level introduced into the QCL rises. You can monitor the QCL voltage on the monitor screen. To scan the load in current and observe the voltage changes, run a VI scan. On the control screen, press the VI scan icon. Press the blue text under each option and turn the adjustment knob to change each value. We recommend a minimum scan time interval of 3 seconds to achieve the most accurate data. The scan data is saved to a USB flash drive, which must be inserted in the front panel before starting the scan. To start the scan, press the Run icon. Any data collected during the scan is automatically saved to the flash drive, whether the full scan was completed or stopped mid-scan. You can stop the scan at any time by pressing the stop icon. Once you know how you want to operate the QCL, you can save all the values you set to a profile. These profiles are stored in the instrument memory so they are not lost after power down. Now that you are familiar with the QCL instrument operation, you are ready to connect your QCL load. Attach the QCL to the instrument using the SMA connector or the QCL D sub connector. The QCL instrument operates as a negative voltage supply current sink. Load current sources from the system ground through the QCL load where it is regulated by the negatively biased controller. With the traditional laser, this is commonly called grounded anode operation. The external modulation input BNC takes a 0 to 5 volt signal. Refer to the user guide for the transfer function, as this and bandwidth change with maximum current capacity. Another D-sub on the back, labeled monitors, gives you a plus 5 volt output for driving an alignment LED, 
an indicator of enable disable status, an analog set point monitor signal, and an analog output current monitor. The front panel inputs can be locked to avoid accidental change to the settings. At any time, swipe the screen firmly from left to right to display the QCL instrument serial number, calibration status, and wavelength technical support contact information. There's more detailed information in the QCL Laboratory Series User Guide. Our website also has tech notes, app notes, and FAQs. Our goal is to help you succeed. If you have any questions, contact our technical support engineers. Consider us an extension of your team.